I'm Natalia and welcome to my channel. Uh, this recipe is insanely, insanely delicious. If you like banana bread and if you like some chocolate with it, but if you also don't want any gluten or dairy, this is the absolutely best recipe. Most kids love this, adults go crazy. I just made it for about four or five adults and it was gone within two hours of coming out of the oven. I tell you what, it is so, so good. Now, you don't wanna keep hearing me talk about how good this recipe is because you probably wanna just get to it. So let's get to it. All right, so we have four really ripe bananas. Getting the really ripe bananas is key. The really ripe bananas are the ones we like when it, they really start getting those little dark spots on them. So nice and sweet. So we take four bananas, we put them into the bowl or with two eggs. And I'm using one of the, my oldest tools that I have in the kitchen, just a simple hand blender. You can use it using your, uh, using your uh, kitchen egg blender. Just as good. So, mush it up. So, the reason that I'm not completely dissolving all the bananas is it's actually nice to have like little teeny chunks of bananas right in this banana bread and this is what this accomplishes which is absolutely delicious now I'll show another trick with you if you don't have four ripe bananas just laying around the house but you can see you have one ripe banana left over Monday and then another one on a Thursday and do you plan to bake banana bread in two weeks not a problem at all because you can take that one banana peel it put it in the ziploc bag and put it in the freezer and then if you have another banana and a half left over peel that put it in the ziploc bag and in the freezer and by the time you accumulate four bananas you're ready to bake this banana bread all right so we have four bananas with two eggs mixed together and now everything else just goes in. So I have half a cup of a chocolate hazelnut spread. Now I use, if you have seen the Mother's Day video, the Mother's Day panini, go back to that and see the brand of the chocolate spread that I use because it's organic and it is dairy free. So really delicious. So we have half a cup of that and we have half a cup plus a third of a cup of this gluten-free flour. We have a third of a cup of almond flour. We have a tablespoon of coconut oil. I melted it just a little bit. We have two tablespoons of a raw cocoa powder. I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We have a third of a cup of coconut palm sugar. And I have a mixture here. It's a pinch of Himalayan pink salt, so half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. So it goes in and now we mix it. We don't want to over mix it, but we just want to blend it all nicely together so it all comes together. All right, now I do like walnuts in my banana bread, so I'm going to add about maybe half a cup of walnuts in here. But it's up to you if you are going to do that or not. So there's a couple ways that you can go about this. So if you are making it just at home for yourself for your own brunch, 
you can use your regular loaf pan and then you can melt some butter and then you can brush the sides of this loaf pan with this butter or just use one of those olive oil spray cans that's fine so you can do that or if you want to make it to bring to people's house oh my gosh you will be getting so many compliments on this by the way you may or may not want to be sharing this recipe because i tell you what once you try this this may become your secret weapon to winning people over all right so i'm going to use these and these are smaller so what's going to happen is and we don't have to grease the, the the paper pans, but also our baking time is going to be a little bit less. So the typical baking time with a regular loaf pan would be about 45 minutes or so, and this will start checking after 30. So we're going to spread this mixture evenly into two pans. Beautiful. So now you just kind of want to tap it so the mixture gets spread evenly. Okay, and now we're gonna put all of these in the oven. And like I said, because it's not a regular size loaf pan, we're gonna check this after about 30 minutes. All right, so it's been about half an hour that our loaf pans, our gluten-free and dairy-free chocolate banana bread has been in the oven baking. Um, I use my cake pan to test, make sure that it's ready. After you take this out of the oven, before you start cutting this out, I would suggest let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. And then we are going to pull this out of our little paper wrapper that we bake this in. This is so pretty. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness, if you could only smell this, it is incredible. There we go. And now we're just going to cut this up and enjoy. Do you see the steam coming out of this? Oh my gosh. So you might as well just consider me your culinary fairy godmother because we're delivering some magic into your kitchen. I have so much fun creating these recipes. We will post the actual recipe below this video. Um, you may, may want to share it. I think we went over that. Um, secret weapon? Yes. For brunch, for your kids. They will love it. People will love you cooking. I want you to become a superstar, celebrity chef among your friends, in your neighborhood, in your town. I am rooting for you to get more of these really delicious, beautiful, easy, sophisticated recipes. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Live a deliciously healthy life.